This is my homemade ECG machine, which works surprisingly well considering its size and the fact that it's only built under $10. In this video, I will show you how to make this device and view your own ECG at home. Electrocardiogram, in short ECG, records the electrical signal generated by the heart to check for different heart conditions, like if there is a blockage in your heart or you had a heart attack. Now if you want to know how heart functions and how to read the ECG graph then there are tons of videos on YouTube which you can watch. I don't really feel like explaining such things which I'm not expert at because I'm not a cardiologist, I'm an electrical engineer. That's why all the information and explanations shown in this video related to heart are only for educational purposes. Electrocardiography is a complete branch of medical science, but for the purpose of this video, all I want you to know is that it is a process in which we measure the real-time heart activity to determine the heart condition. This can be done by observing the electrical pulses generated by the heart, which is known as ECG graph. Now the question is that how to get those electrical pulses out of the heart in the first place? So here comes the role of the electrical engineer. What you are looking on the screen is the real time electrical signal which my heart is generating. This graph shows the actual ECG of my heart by using this little gadget which I'll show you how to make one by yourself after watching the intro of course. The heart of this build is this AD8232 sensor module. This AD8232 is an integrated signal conditioning block for ECG and for other biopotential measurement applications. It is designed to extract, amplify and filter small biopotential signals. You can buy this module quite cheap from eBay or Amazon. Apart from this module, you will also receive a cable with a plug on one side and three snap-like connectors on the other side. Those need to connect with these pads. It is recommended to use high quality pads like this, which has this silver chloride gel in the center. This gel will ensure good electrical connection with the body and introduce less noise. Now let's talk about the placement of the three pads. This image shows the exact placement of three electrodes on your body. The red pad will connect to the right of the heart. The yellow pad will connect a bit left of the heart. And the green pad will connect to the right side in the kidney area. Okay, moving on towards the electronics part. To power this module, it is recommended not to use any kind of mains power supply because of obvious reasons. That's why I'm using this 9 volt battery. But you see, there is a slight problem. You cannot use the battery directly to power the module, as the module only needs 3.3 volts. So therefore, to lower down the voltage of the battery, a 3.3 volt regulator module is required, like this AMS 1117. You can also use a simple AMS 1117 regulator, but to get rid of the noise, you need to connect the capacitors at the input and the output side, and ultimately reach to a same thing. This module already contains all the right value of capacitors at the input and the output, so that's why to keep things simple, I went with this. Now the power section is sorted, so we can move on and have a look at how we can display the waveform. For this we have couple of methods, which I'll go through one by one. 
The first one is by using an oscilloscope. Second is by using a sound card, which surprisingly, after trying a lot, doesn't seem to work for me. And the third is by using an Arduino microcontroller, which I believe is going to be everyone's favorite. So let's start with the oscilloscope method. As the output of this AD8232 module is an analog signal, which contains the ECG, so we can directly hook up the output pin of the module to the oscilloscope and observe the ECG signal. At first, as you can see that the signal is quite noisy as I'm moving, thus it's showing the muscle movement along with the heart signal. So it's obvious that you need to stay very still in order to get a good ECG signal out of this module. One good thing about using an oscilloscope is that you can turn on the frequency measurement to see the heartbeat in seconds. To convert it into minutes, you can just use the online frequency to beat per minute converter to get beats per minute. I must say, the thing I love about this method is that you can directly connect a printer to your oscilloscope and give the print command. By this way, you will get a hard copy of your ECG graph if you want to see it later or you want to show it to someone. But besides all these good features, one aspect is that not everyone has an oscilloscope and this thing is also quite expensive. That is why taking these factors into account eventually leads me to the second method. I am confident that you guys will agree with me that this method is quite unique as it uses a USB sound card to read the analog signal from the module and eventually display it onto a computer. You can download the program by searching something like sound card ECG on the Google. You will see a program on the GitHub which is created by Scott Harden. Download the program and unzip it onto your computer. But before launching the program, we must prepare some hardware in order to display the ECG signal. As I've mentioned earlier, for this method, a USB sound card is needed. After connecting it to the computer, we have to provide the analog signal coming from the module to its microphone input. Therefore, I prepared a microphone jack by connecting the ground wire and shorting out the left and the right channel then connected the ground wire to the ground and the channel wire to the output pin of the AD8232 module. Afterwards, I inserted the jack in the microphone port of the USB sound card. Now, at this point, one thing to make sure that you must disconnect the charger from the laptop prior attaching the pads onto your body for safety reasons. Afterwards, open the software. It will ask you to select the device. My one is named USB PNP Sound Card. Select it and you can see the ECG graph. Now, as you can see that the graph is very noisy and no matter how still I stay, it does not seem to reduce any noise. Moreover, if I zoom onto the signal, you can see it's not even an ECG signal. If this is coming from a heart, then I believe I'm not a human. This program also has a heartbeat detection system, which is also not that great. Let's just believe that it's correct.
That is why I already told you that this module is only for educational purposes. By the way, if you are wondering why I haven't used the built-in microphone port of the laptop, it will give me better results, right? That's exactly what I thought, let's give it a try. I utilized the headphone connector and soldered its ground to the ground and the microphone input to the module output. So after inserting the jack in the microphone port of the laptop and selecting the external microphone, here's the signal I'm getting. If I zoom into the signal, you can see it's even worse than the previous sound card setup. I literally wasted plenty of time trying different techniques in order to improve the results, but in the end concluded that either I'm not using it right or there is some bug in the software. I don't know, you be the judge. Okay, now moving on to the third method, which uses everyone's favorite Arduino. This method requires a laptop to display the ECG signal and our Arduino board. The connections are really simple. You just have to connect the ground to the ground of the Arduino and the output pin of the module to the A0 pin of the Arduino. Afterwards, you need to download the code from this video description and upload it in the Arduino board. When you're done with uploading, one thing to make sure that you must disconnect the charger from the laptop. Now attach the pads to your body, power on the module and open the serial plotter. As you can see that we are getting the ECG signal on the screen and you can observe different kind of parameters as the signal is quite perfect and there is almost no noise. Now, if you try to do someone's ECG by using this little circuit who has no background in electronics whatsoever, he will probably run away. That's why let's put everything in this little project box to make it somehow less scary. So let's do this. One good thing about using the Arduino board is that you don't need this voltage regulator and a 9 volt battery anymore because now we can directly supply the 3.3 volt to the module from this 3.3 volt pin of the Arduino. It's totally fine with the Arduino as the current consumption of this module is extremely low. So after creating the necessary holes for the jack and the Arduino cable, I placed the module along with the Arduino in the box and secured it with the help of the hot glue. Afterwards, I connected the ground to the ground, 3.3 volt pin to the 3.3 volt pin and the output of the module to the A0 pin of the Arduino. Now it's time to close it all up and here is your homemade ECG machine. Connect the cables for the pads along with the Arduino. On the other side, insert the USB cable in the laptop and upload the sketch. I already uploaded it before so I don't need to. Now open the serial plotter and here you have it, your own ECG signal in real time. You can also store the graph by simply taking a screenshot then print it or whatever you want to do. Now there is one question that I want to ask from you guys is that what would happen if you connect these pads to your body and insert this jack into your mobile phone and play some music? Tell me in the comments what's gonna happen. I am seriously curious. If you enjoyed watching this video and learned something new, then please like this video. It's the only thing that motivates me to keep the show going. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. And I hope to see you guys in my next video.